I say, how do you do to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue? to help me. It's Mother's Day. Oh no, I forgot. I'm going to make a card too. You can make one with me for your mum. Oh, thanks, Zoo. Zoo? Coming, Grandma. Mum's gone to Aunt Zilda's. She won't be back for a bit, but we should get on with it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh. Whoops! Sorry, Grandpa. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine. I've just been to see your Nana. She gave me one of her kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Nana's kisses can be a bit messy. That's enough sugar, Sue. Now you mix that into the butter. time into the mm. sugar and butter mix. Mm. <laughs> Steady, Zoo. If you pour the eggs in too quickly, the mixture will go lumpy. What next, Grandma? Now for the flour and a sieve. Mmm! Hold the sieve above the bowl and sieve it gently into the mixture. I'll mix it in. Looks just perfect. Huh? Uh, it doesn't look very cakey. Not yet. Next, we pour the mixture into two cake tins. That's it. The same amount in each tin. How's the cake coming along? It's a bit gooey at the moment. be ready in about half an hour. And while we're waiting, I can make Mum's card. I've nearly finished mine. Look. Oh, no. What's happened? Huh? Oh, Pock. Well, we've still got time to make another one. And this time, Pock, you're not to help. card yet, Zoo? Yep, Grandma. What do you think? It's beautiful, Zoo. 
I'm sure Mum will love it. I've made mine too. Well, you are a very clever Ooh. pair. I'm going to go home now and give my mum the card. Thanks for all the help. <laughs> See you later, Elsie. Bye. Save some cake for me. Right, Zoo. Now we need to ice the cake and decorate it. Yeah! <laughs> Made a lovely cake, Zoo. Thanks for helping me, Grandma. And now we can. <gasps> Mum's back. <laughs> Mum, Mum, Mum! Oh. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hello, Zoo. Not pleased to see me? <laughs> of course I am. I just. I thought it was Mum. It's Mother's Day, and I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. Well, I'm sure she'll be very pleased when you do. In the meantime, I'm hungry. Boots Wellington, detective. Mm, 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 mm. Now that's what I call delicious. Would you like a piece of this cake, Zoo? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, please, Dad. Hmm. Yeah, you have to get up pretty early in the morning. You got me banged to rights, Mr. Wellington. Pretty good cake, eh? Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Mm. Oh, no! Mm. Mm. Oh, well, I think it's scrumptious. Hmm. Is something the matter, Zoo? For Mum! Oh, I... I'm so sorry, Sue. I didn't realise. You didn't know, Dad. Hmm. <gasps> I'll have to make another before she gets back. Sue, uh, are you sure you know how? Grandma helped me make the last one, so I know what to do now. And I want to make it all on my own. Next, we need some flour. Sugar. That should be enough sugar. <clears throat> huh? <gasps> Pock! Whoop. Sorry, Pock. Day, but I had a bit of an accident. <laughs> hey, what's going on in here? Oh. Bizu, what a mess. I think someone should have given oh. you a little help, Bizu. Come on. Let's get the place cleaned up and then I'll help you make that cake. Thank you, Mum. Now that's what I call a cake. Mwah. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, Zoo. It's beautiful. Do you want some cake now, Mum? 
Well, there are some other mothers in the huh? house. Should we ask if they want some too? What other mothers? Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> Day. <laughs> Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day! Hooray! <laughs> what a beautiful cake. Zoo made it. In that case, come over here, <laughs> Zoo, dear. Huh? <laughs> 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 I say, how do you do to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue? Oh, 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 Meet mom and dad, Nana too, grandma, grandpa, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. Supplies. Zoo! <laughs> you might need this. Ooh. Thanks, Mum. Vargle wants a base. Have been supplied with a space helmet. Hello, Sue. And what can I do for you today? I've got a list. Whoops! Wait! It's in my space helmet! I need some provisions, please, Mr Zoe. I'm going camping. Camping? Wow! And... and... Uh, what are provisions? Provisions? That means the food you take with you when you go camping. Right, Zoo? That's right, Mr Zoe. And Grandpa's got a tent and everything in the garage. And I'm going camping. So what I need is... Someone to go camping with. Uh, sorry, Zach. I've already got a camping partner. It's Elsie. But can I come too? Well, uh, you see... Maybe some other time, Zach. When you're a little bit older. Oh, but I'm a really, really good camper, though. <sighs> now, Zoo, what do you need? Uh, bread, butter, some milk for Nana, a tin of sardines, some cheese, some jelly astronauts, a banana, and base rations. Just hold on, well, one thing at a time. Hi, Mum. Woo, Zoo, what's the big rush? I go to shopping, but can't stop. Mm. Me and Elsie are going camping. Camping? That's... Nice, Bizu. Grandpa, I'm ready to go camping. 
No, just as soon as I finish this ironing for your grandma. Mm. Can I help? Then we can go. <laughs> it's really a one zebra job, Zoo. <laughs> ah, that's what I call ironing. Wow. Well, are we going camping or are we going camping? Yay! Now, first things first, we need my old tent. Okay, I'll take this side. Mm, it's not here. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Pop. Set up camp. Where is it? <gasps> <laughs> Over there, with Grandpa. <sighs> oh, we had some good times back in the day, me and this tent. Grandpa, how did these go together? Oh, like this. Mm. And then we need one to go <laughs> along the top. Huh? Right. Uh, hold it steady while I... Whoop! Oh! It's a... oh. oh, dear. <laughs> Not quite as easy as I remember. <laughs> uh, right. Now we pull it upright. <laughs> oh, it takes me back, does this? Now, I remember when I was camping in darkest Africa. Africa? When? Oh, a long, long time ago. <coughs> I was on an expedition to the deepest, darkest jungle with this very tent. And one night, I found myself surrounded by fierce, wild animals. What sort of wild animals, Grandpa? Oh, you know, the usual sort, big and fierce, with mm. teeth like this. <coughs> so... What happened? Oh, they ate me all up, oh. boots and all. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa? Uh, no, of course they didn't. What you have to remember about wild animals is that they're usually as frightened of you as you are of them. <clears throat> so, when they surrounded me, I decided to give them a fright, like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we deal with wild animals. Now let's get camping. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now that's what I call a tent. It looks great. Oh no! We've forgotten something. Provisions. It won't be a proper camping trip without something to eat. You're absolutely right. I tell you what, you get settled in and I'll go and fetch the provisions. Thanks, Grandpa. Oh, and make sure you keep sharp eyes out for wild animals. <laughs> we will. <laughs> you can't be too careful when you're camping. <laughs> oh, now there's a surprise. Are you making supper tonight, dear? <laughs> no, just some sandwiches for the campers. <laughs> I thought it was too good to be true. Now, what have we got to put in them? Hmm? Oh, hello there, Zack. Hello. 
Uh, you forgot these sardines. Well, thanks for bringing them over. You've just solved a little problem. Have I? Yep. I was just wondering what to put in the camper's sandwiches. So, Zulu's out camping? Yes, in the back garden. <sighs> Come on in, Zack. So, did your grandpa really go camping in Africa? I don't know, but I'm sure he's met some wild animals. Yes, really big ones. With great big teeth and big strong claws and... What was that? I don't know. Probably nothing. Sue, you know what your grandpa said about looking out for wild animals? Yes. There, there aren't too many wild animals around here, are there? I... I don't think so. <gasps> Uh, wild animal. Ah! We do what Grandpa did. We have to try and scare it away. How? Remember what Grandpa said? Wild animals are as scared of you as you are of them. Are you sure? There's only one way to find out. So let's roar at it. Like this. Roar? Um... Well, more like this. Oh, 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 oh. Grandpa! And Zack! Oh, 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 oh. What was that all about? Sorry, Grandpa. We thought you were a wild animal. Oh, not us. We're not wild, are we, Zack? No. We were just bringing you your camping food. So, is it lots of fun camping? Yeah, lots. Especially the wild animal bit. <laughs> uh, that. As you're here, how would you like to come camping with us? Woohoo! Would I? Yes! Yes, please! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I'd better go tell my dad. I'll go and tell him for you. You get camping. Woohoo! I'm going to be a camper mama! Woohoo! I love camping. Yep, me too. There's only one thing I don't like about it. Huh? What's that? Sardine sandwiches. <laughs> 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 by the name of Sue. Oh, 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 oh. Meet mom and dad, Nana too, grandma, grandpa, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. Dark, dark woods! <laughs> I 
Sir Zoo will lead you to safety with my trusty squire, Pock. Thank goodness. Sir Zoo, lead the way back to Elsie Land. Hmm. Here we are. Safe at last, Princess. Hmm. Oh, thank you, brave knight. How can I ever repay you? Hmm. I'd like to be king, please. No way, Zoo. But Elsie, when you play knights and princesses, the brave knight always rescues the princess and becomes king. It's the rules. Not in this game. This is Elsie land. I'm going to be Queen Elsie. <laughs> then I'll just have to go and find my own kingdom instead. <laughs> <laughs> this is my kingdom, Pop. And I'm going to call it Zooland. And you can be my royal mascot. Now that I'm in charge, let's go and tell everyone the good news. Oh. Mum, Dad, I have something to say. Go on. I want you to know that we now live in Zooland and I am its king. So from now on, I'm in charge. Really, Bizu? Well, surely you can't be a king unless you wear a crown. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Mum's right. A real king has to have a crown. If I find one, then can I be king? If you can find a crown by lunchtime, then we'll let you sit at the head of the table and be king. Yippee! I'm going to be king. But you only have half an hour. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be king. I'm going to be king. <laughs> Nana, guess what? I'm going to be king. King, you say? Yes, but I need a crown. Do you know where I could find one? No, no don't think I've seen any spare crowns lying around. But you'll need a throne as well. What's a throne? A majestic bejeweled chair. By lunchtime? How lovely. A lunchtime coronation. A coro what? A coronation. That's when a new king puts on their crown for the very first time. Then I need to hurry, or I miss my coronation. Hello, Grandpa. Grandma. Oh, hello, hello Sue. Sue. If I find a crown and a majestic throne by lunchtime, then I can sit at the head of the table and be king of Zooland. <laughs> Is that where we live now? I'll be very proud to have a king for a grandson. You'll need a royal robe, and it will have to be purple. Nothing else will do. A robe as well? Oh, Grandpa. How am I going to plan to all these things by lunchtime? This is too hard. You know, kings need royal advisers. I'd be happy to help you in this quest, Sue. Yes, please, Grandpa. Come on. Oh, yes, Sue. <laughs> First, <laughs> a crown. Um, aha! Ooh. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, like a lampstand. <laughs> How about this? I need something more hat shaped. Ah, oh, <laughs> a, a paper crown would be as good as any. <laughs> Let me try. Ta-da! I've now got a crown. Oh, well done, Zoo. Next, a majestic throne. Too plain. Huh? Hmm, yes! Sue, are you ready to be king yet? It's almost lunchtime. Not yet. Can I borrow this? Of course. Thank you. Hmm, shiny. 
As it has to be a bejeweled throne, how about these? Ta-da! Thanks, Grandpa. It looks amazing. Wow. <laughs> Two down, one to go. Now, where are we going to get a purple robe? I know. Oh. Dad's dressing gown. Hmm. Huh? Oh, it's blue, not purple. What else around here is purple? Five minutes, Sue! Oh, no, five minutes. <laughs> oh! Is it lunchtime? Almost, Nana. I need something purple to be my royal robe. Can I borrow your blanket? Oh, of course you can. But it's not purple. It's lavender, you know. Lavender? <laughs> That's no good. There are no purple things. One minute till lunch. Oh, no! A minute! <gasps> Grandma, can I help you with that? <laughs> yes, Sue. You can borrow it. Yes! I'm ready! Woohoo! It gives me great pleasure to crown the King of Zooland, King Zoo the First. Three cheers for the King. Hip hip hooray! <laughs> hip hip hooray! <laughs> hip hip hooray! <laughs> I love a nice coronation. With a coronation pie. Now that I'm king, I'm going to make some very important decisions. Oh, uh, such as, Your Majesty? Uh, like, uh -huh. what game will we all play after lunch? And what time I will go to bed? And what flavour ice cream we'll have? Hmm. And I will decide which end of the bed I'll sleep. And what days I will go to school. Or even if I go to school at all. Hmm. Um, I'm going to have that last piece of pie. Well, I was going to have it too. I am the king's father. Oh. Uh, but I am the royal advisor. It, it, it's mine. No, it's mine. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. King Zoo. It looks like you have a decision to make. Hmm. Who gets to have the last piece of coronation pie? Um, one piece of pie and two hungry subjects. I can't choose. Could you share? Share? Cut the piece in half. Oh, <laughs> agreed. Agreed. Hmm. That was a very kingly decision, Your Majesty. Well done. Phew. But there are lots more decisions to be made, King Zoo. Oh, yes. Like, who gets the bathroom first in the morning? Who's on washing up duty this week? Whose turn is it to put the rubbish in the bins? Mm. I'm not sure I like being king. Making decisions is difficult. But that's what kings do. Would you mind if I stopped being king? Maybe Dad could take over instead. If you really want me to, Zoo. I crown you King Dad. Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Which means you will be Queen Mum. I think I'll just be your little prince. <laughs> you always have been, Bizu, and always will be. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> Is there any cake? <laughs> Elsie! <laughs> Hi, Zoo. How's it going being king? Oh, I gave it up. Being a king was not as much fun as I thought. How are things in Elsie land? Oh, I gave it back to Mum and Dad. Queens have to make lots of hard decisions. So, I think I'll stick to playing at princesses for now. Then I will be your brave knight. Let's go on an adventure in this dark, dark wood. 
and see if we can find any dragons. <laughs> You're on. Look, a dragon. Roar! Save me from the dragon. <laughs> I will save you, fair princess. <laughs> by the name of Sue. Oh, 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 oh. Meet mom and dad, Nana too, grandma, grandpa, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. I just can't decide what to play. I know, Pock. It's so hard to choose when there's so much we could do. Mm, I wonder what that is. Thank you. Wow, look at all those letters. Oh, yes, Sue. Oh, the postman has been busy. One for Dad. Um, one for you, Grandpa. Thank you. One for Grandma and one for Nana, too. None for me. I'm afraid not, Zoo. Oh. oh, looks like there might be just one more letter, Zoo. This one must be for me. It's for Mr. Zigmore. Who's Mr. Zigmore? And why does he get a letter, not me? He doesn't even live here, does he? No, he doesn't, Zoo. The postman must have delivered it by mistake. I'll have to take it back to the post office. Oh, can I come, Mum? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Of course, Zoo. Yes! Mum, I thought we were going to the post office. We are, Zoo. Well, hello. And how can I help you today? Oh, hello, Mr. Zoe. Uh, this letter arrived today, but it's not for us. It's for somebody called Mr. Zigmore. And I didn't get any letters at all. Ah, a post problem. I'm afraid you'll need the postmaster for that. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you are, Mr. Zoe. That's Postmaster Zoe. Oh, sorry. Postmaster Zoe. Have you got any letters for me, Postmaster Zoe? I'm afraid not, Zoo. Oh. Now, let's have a look at that envelope. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? And now we put it here, ready to post. Wow! There. Mr. Zigmore will get his letter through his letterbox tomorrow morning. Thanks, Mr. Zoe. <clears throat> hmm? Postmaster Zoe. Oh, I mean, thanks, Postmaster Zoe. You're welcome. I'm going to set up my own post office. I'm going to have loads of fun delivering letters. What a lovely idea, Zoo. Hello, Zoo. Oh, and what have we here? 
A post office? Yes, Grandpa, with my own zoo stamps. Oh, 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 I like them. But I don't have anything to deliver. Well, don't worry, Zoo. I'm sure we can find some customers for you. Maybe this could be one. Ah, oh, there it is. Nana's hairbrush. I keep forgetting to give it back to her. Mm. Don't worry, Mum. Zoo's post office will deliver it for you. Oh, that would be lovely. First, you'll need an envelope. There you go. All ready to deliver. Postman Zoo, Nana. Well, thank you, Postman Zoo. And uh, since you're such a good postman, maybe you could take this to Grandpa for me. Postman Zoo will be happy to. Grandpa says you're running a postal service. So, we've got some deliveries for you. One for Mum. And one for Mr Zoe. Oh, thank you. Delivery for Postmaster Zoe. Oh, just a moment then. Thank you, Zoo. Uh, um, postman Zoo. Ah, of course. Postman Zoo. And since you're doing such a good job, I've got a special delivery for you. Wow, thank you. This parcel needs to be delivered to Elsie. As soon as I've delivered my parcel to Mum and Grandpa, I'll take it. You can count on Postman Zoo. Mum? I've got a parcel for you from Grandma. Oh, thank you, Zoo. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I've got lots more deliveries for you. Wow! Who are they for? This big one is for Dad, this small one is for Grandma, and this round one is for Nana. And I've got one for Elsie, and one for Grandpa. Oh, that's a lot of parcels, Zoo. Do you want me to write on the parcels who they're for? No, I'll remember. I'm a postman. I'm sure this isn't mine. And these really aren't mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandpa, I'm not a very good postman. I should have written who the parcels were for. Well, Zoo, you can do that next time. Hmm, then what you need is a post box. A post box? Yes, you can't really be a postman if you can't get your letters from a post box. Yes, so everyone can write down who the parcels are really for. And then stick them in the post box. And then this time you can deliver them all to the right person. Great! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
We've wrapped all the parcels up again, Zoo. Are you ready for them? Yes. Nana! The post box is here! Wait, Mr Postman. I've got one too. So, you've got all your parcels and you know who they're for. Yes, Grandpa. Then it's time to get delivering. The first one's for Grandma. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> and this must be the book I've been waiting for. Lovely. Thank you, Zoo. You're welcome, Nana. Mm. Here you are, Dad. This is for you. Thanks, Zoo. Ah, just what I need. One more delivery to go. Postman Zoo. I hope it's the right one this time. It is. It's got your name on it. My new doll! <laughs> Are you sure you finished, Zoo? I think there might be one more thing in the post box. Is there? For me, to Zoo, the best postman ever. For all the family. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>